In this episode, it's time to install the power supply. You're watching IT Pro TV. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to more of the hands-on PC build. That's right. Power, that's the name of this episode. Well, not really. It's installing a power supply. So we're actually going to take our 500 watt EVGA power supply and we're gonna install it in our case. So uh, here at the bench, taking a look at our case here, you'll see that, well, we've got it opened up, it's ready to go, but what's not ready to go, kind of in our way, are some of these cables. So one of the things we're gonna do is we're just gonna use our cable management Velcro here. We're gonna just pull these cables out of the way. And what that does is that determines that, or uh, allows us to kind of work with the area of the power supply without damaging any of those cables. So next up, let's go ahead. We're going to take our 500 watt power supply, nothing really fancy on this one, and we're going to go ahead and we're going to install it right here at the base of the uh, system unit or the case here. So we'll go ahead and we're going to insert this right here. Now, one of the things I want to show you uh, is if we take a look at the tech cam here, I've got one of these little uh, just uh, kind of finger threaded uh, screws here, and that's going to help me to kind of get this in place uh, before I start bolting uh, or screwing down the other bolts. And you'll see here what I'm going to do is just kind of line that up, uh, and then we're just going to put that... Uh, that, that screw in there, and I'm just going to kind of hand tight this down. Uh, that's not going to be, if you'll see, it's not going to be what we're going to use for the entire case, but you'll notice that it helps me to line up uh, the other four points here. Notice we've got a screw hole here, we've got the screw hole here, and then we've also got the one down here. So now you'll see it, in your case, you'll typically have a series of bolts uh, and maybe even some twist ties here, or zip ties, if you will. Uh, and what we want are the five screws that actually go to the power supply. So that's these screws right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, I'll put, uh, uh, try to put every one of these in place here and just lining up the power supply. That's one of the reasons the form factor uh, is really, really important to follow uh, because when you do that, these cases and the power supplies uh, that their form factors match, that means these bolts will be, or screws, I keep saying bolts, but the screws will be in the right position uh, and should line up uh, pretty good for us here. And since they're kind of finger tight, you might have to, you'll see, you'll notice that I'm kind of rocking the power supply uh, back and forth just a little bit. Uh, and that's just, again, to get these uh, screws in place. And this one's giving me a little bit of a hard time, but no big deal, we'll get, we'll get it eventually. All right, so now we've got our screws, three of them in, and what I'm gonna do, just take our Phillips head screwdriver, and I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these up, and we'll just go ahead, tighten those down. And then once I've got the other ones, and I'm kind of rocking the power supply back and forth just to make sure uh, that it lines up good. And now that we've got the other three in, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one, and I'm just gonna back that one back out. Uh, this is a good handy thing. These are actually aftermarket uh, case screws, and I actually use these uh, because, boy, do they come in handy when you need to line up the power supply. Uh, it, it just makes it a lot easier rather than trying to fiddle with your uh, Phillips screwdriver at the same time you're trying to hold the power supply. Just makes for a, a, an easier experience and an easier installation. All right, so notice that we've got our four screws in place. And ladies and gentlemen, when it comes down to it, that's how you install your power supply. And that's what we wanted to show you how to identify the proper location and determine the right installation procedures. Thank you for watching IT Pro TV.